okay after the first video uh, we'll continue with this uh, think about it part so first question here is you are traveling in a bus is the person sitting next to you is in motion obviously the answer is going to be yes if bus is in motion it is moving i am in the bus i am in i am sitting in the bus i am moving so obviously the person sitting next to me is also going to move second question what they are asking is what do you take into consideration to decide if object is moving or not suppose if i ask you that uh, you have uh, uh, you are moving how will you tell or how will you prove that you are moving you will say that i have covered a particular distance from one point to another point let's say you have come to the school now from the home so you have covered a distance from your uh, home to the school and since you have covered certain distance you will say your position has changed and therefore you will say you are moving or you are in motion similarly you have learned that motion is a relative concept means what if the position of an object is changing with respect to its surrounding then it is said to be in motion so please take down this as a definition if the position of an object is changing with respect to its surrounding then it is said to be in motion if the object is there and right now it is at one particular point but now it has changed its position from point a to point b that means it is in motion otherwise it is said to be at rest like this textbook is right now lying here only on the table so textbook is at rest but if i change it from this position to some other position i will say the textbook is also moving so this uh, introduction and understanding part i am i i understood that or i can make out that everybody has really understood about uh, motion and the distance part so let us try to understand with some activity here they are given here i can see here so the heading of this topic is displacement and the distance so they are telling us let us try this the first activity is measure the distance between the point a and b in a different way as shown in the figure 1.1 a so you will come down to this diagram 1.1 a i can see there is a point a and i can see there is a point b now they are telling us to measure the distance between the point a and b in a different way one way would be i will go from here i will move on this black dotted line reaching this point b otherwise i can go from here and i can cover this distance and i come to the point b or i can straight away come from point a to b in a straight line so these are the three ways in which i can cover the distance right second question they are asking is now measure the distance along the dotted line so i can go from a i can go from a to b from this direction i can go from a to b in this direction but now they are telling us to measure the distance from a to b in the dotted line so i'll just take a scale and i'll measure the uh, measurement let us see how much it comes down to when i am keeping a scale here it is coming to if i am taking 9 as the starting point it is coming to 11 that means the total distance here it is how many how much 2 cm is there so what we did we tried to understood that to reaching point uh, uh, to reach from to point b from a i can take two different ways or three different way but i have also calculated the distance the dotted line distance between a and b okay